All right, it's time for another math easy solution here. Today we're going to discuss further into ellipses and go over inverted ellipses or vertical ellipses uh, or whatnot. Basically, um, if we recall from my previous video on ellipses, I derived the equation of an ellipse as um, x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1, where a is greater than or equal to b and these are all greater than equal to zero and has foci of plus or minus c uh, and uh, like at, at plus or minus c and zero basically foci are these focus points so this is uh, at this point right here is negative c and zero then at here is c and zero so that the combination distance from any point to to both of these foci is constant you so make sure to watch my earlier video on on that basically and also has vertices of plus or minus a and zero so at this point it's a and zero and at this point it's negative a and zero and then at this top point this is just going to be zero and b and at this point there yeah this at this vertical um or this, yeah, these y intercepts, and then, then here is going to be negative uh, b over there. But now uh, the case here is uh, what if, let's say, the foci or the focus points, these plus or minus c's of an ellipse, are located on the y axis, so across this as opposed to the horizontal axis? Then we can find its equation. Well, it's easy, we just simply interchange x and y. I'll get to that in a bit. Basically, th this just means we're finding the inverse. So if, if this, is, if at this point it's a and zero, so we interchange it. So we go to zero and one. So this would be right here, zero. I mean zero and a. So basically, we it would interchange each one. And at this point right here, this is at negative a and zero. So we would interchange it to here, which is zero. Uh, yeah, zero and negative a. And similarly, we get it across here. This is going to be this. This would go over to here, and then this would go over to here, and we would get a ellipse like this. So this, and then the focus points also get switched. So these focus points, say they're here and here, they would get switched to. Uh, yeah, they would get switched up to here and here. So we would just get an inverse of it, and that's basically uh, interchanging x and y. Yeah, that's basically the equation of an inverse ellipse becomes. So now instead of x, we write y. So y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared equals 1. Now a and b, they don't, uh, yeah, it's still the same requirement. a is greater than or equal to b, and it's greater than or equal to uh, 0. Yeah, and now uh, this, this equation or this ellipse has foci at 0 and plus or minus c. So we basically just switch over this um, uh, plus or minus c and 0. So basically we switch over everything. c squared equal, is still going to be equals to a squared minus b squared. And over here, vertices now are switched from uh, now to 0 and plus or minus a. So that's this point right here. 0 and a. This is at... 0 and negative a and this is our uh, c points or focus points this is 0 and c and now this is 0 and negative c and over here at this point this is gonna be our now um, uh, this is a b and 0 instead of a and now this will be basically negative b and 0 and that's basically just an inverse uh, and, and, and simple as I would just switch x and y and everything pretty much gets uh, flipped over, flipped around. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, if we learned from this video uh, and also make sure to watch the earlier video which I um, which I prove and uh, basically derive this equation. Also go over with foci and and how to get this uh, yeah this property as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.